Okay, I'm back. By the way, in between the last video and this one, a suggestion came in in the chat to say like, oh, uh, you know, it'd be easier if you just had a bunch of buttons. So like, I could just click whichever button I think the color is. So yeah, if this is like, ah, it's greenish to me, um, I'm gonna refresh, oh, that's also greenish, uh, that's uh, purplish, uh, that's bluish, right? So I just click the button and it submits. And actually, probably when I hit, when I do that, I could have it then pick a new color. So what I need to do is now is send the, uh, send the color to uh, Firebase. All right, so I'm now logged into some arbitrary Google account called Coding Rainbow Live, and I'm gonna add a project, and I'm gonna call this uh, color classification. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, accept all sorts and agree to all sorts of things. I'm gonna hit create project. I'm gonna wait for it to do its thing. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, 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 loading. Oh, it's so out of tune. Oh, did it finish? <laughs> okay. Ah, continue. The new project is ready. Um, all right. Ah! Really? Get started? Ah, yes. Add Firebase to your web app. Perfect. Okay, so what I need is this stuff. So let me grab this and go to index.html. And, and by the way, there are so many things that could be done to improve the interface here, and I should probably work on an HTML and add CSS and all that stuff. That's not the focus of this video. So um, I, I, apparently, <laughs> don't at me is what I'm supposed to say, apparently. <laughs> but you should at me, though. I'm, I'm okay with being atted. At, 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 at will. Just be nice, be nice. Um, all right, so I'm gonna add uh, this stuff. So I'm gonna add this uh, script tag for Firebase. And I'm actually just gonna take this and I'm gonna put this in, um, in my P, with my P5 code. I'm just gonna uh, actually just do this at the beginning of setup. Okay. Um, so now I'm connected to Firebase. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Hit refresh. You know, it's not telling me anything, but uh, should be good. Yeah, something's happening here. Okay, great. Now, I need to, by the way, I need this send data to go with all these buttons. So I should be able to say uh, um, buttons.length. And then I should just be able to say buttons dot mouse press, oh, buttons index i dot mouse pressed send data. So this is me assigning this send data event to every single one of those buttons. And guess what? Right here, I'm going to just say console log this dot html. So by the way, so when you use the p5 mouse pressed function and give it an event, that event is bound to the DOM element upon which it was called and referenced in the keyword this. So, and then HTML is the text of the button. So this should, if I do this, we can see whatever button I click, I get the label in the console. That's good. So now I need to send the data to Firebase. Is it gonna tell me how to do that here? Uh, okay, so I could start to look at the Firebase documentation, but I'm gonna, and, and you, or I could go back and watch my Firebase tutorials because I've completely forgotten how to use it, but I do have one of my examples, and this example here has some code in it which uh, send to Firebase. So, and it's actually quite easy for me to do this. I just want to need to create a reference database. I'm gonna call it like colors or something. I need to put some data in it. So let me grab all this code here. And uh, I'm gonna grab this code and I'm going to put it, I'll link to that particular example as well. Um, I'm gonna just put it in here. I'm gonna use let and I'm not, my example that I made before in the Firebase tutorial is about fruits, but I'm gonna do a color, I'm gonna say color label uh, of the database is color database and I'm gonna call it uh, colors. The data that I want to send is has an R, and that is, and I, I need these then to be global variables if I want to be able to access them. So, uh, so I'm going to um, make these global variables and give them an initial value. I'm actually going to put this though in a function called pick color. I think that'll make everything nicer. Uh, I'm going to say uh, function uh, pick color. 
Uh, and then I'm going to create an object with, uh, oh, I could use that. What's that thing called in ES6 now where I could just make the object if I want the R value to be R, the G value to be G. There's a way to do that. The B value to be B. And then I want the label to be this.html. So this is the object. This is what I want to send to Firebase. The red, green, and blue value and the label. So then I'm just going to say let the, uh, the particular color be the color database push. Push that data and when it's finished, oh, it's going to give me this like key, which is interesting to see because everything has this unique, every record in a database has a unique ID. So I could look at that just to see if it's right. And I can have this callback finished. Something went wrong. Um, I could you know, use console.error or data save successfully. And let's see. So let's, let's do console.log saving. Uh, saving data and then also log the data and let's see what happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to here and that, that to me is pinkish. I'm gonna press pinkish. Database is not defined. Okay, <laughs> uh, line 49. Oh, Firebase initialized. So what did I not do that I did in this particular example? Uh, when I initialized it, uh, oh, I create, I have to create a database object. So I have to create a database object from after I initialized Firebase. So let's go and do that. That's a step that I missed. And I'm gonna, that's going to be a global variable called database. And I'm going to run this again. That looks very greenish to me. And saving this data, 52.26.65 with this label, it generated a key, but permission denied. So now what I need to do is do something to allow myself to write to the database. And I'm going to do something not so great, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I need to change the permissions that are in my Firebase project. So how come I've lost where that is? It's probably under here, project settings. Um, Color classification, where is it? Users and permissions. Now I have to be thoughtful and think about like the privacy and security of the data, which is a really important point. But again, in this sort of like thing that I'm just working on to try to just get to the finish line here and with a trivial data set, I'm going to at least just sort of open up and make, make the database easily writable without a lot of security rules. So let's see. So I need to go to Firebase and I need to go here to database. And actually, I don't even have a real-time database available yet, so I need to do get started. Um, and then look at this. So make your database private by denying all reads and writes, which is something that, you really, that, that in many cases you're going to want to do. Eh, start in test mode. Anyone with your database reference will be able to read and write to your database. I'm going to hit enable. I am going to add one more thing to the, um, I am going to add one more thing to the rules. So, and thank you to me, I am so me from the chat. Um, I can add in uh, a rule for color data. Um, I'm gonna add another rule and let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. I, what I wanna do is I don't wanna let somebody overwrite somebody else's uh, entry that they already put in. And so if I say uh, dollar sign entry uh, and then I set the right the dot write property to not data exists. And again, you can look through the documentation to see all the different things. Um, let's see, does this, is this right here? I think I've got this right. Color data, open bracket, close bracket. Uh, dollar sign entry, open bracket, close bracket, dot write, not data exists. This should hopefully give me a little bit more protection. I'm gonna hit publish. And now, click back to database. Oh, get started. Ah, where is it? Oh, well, maybe I haven't, because I haven't written any data yet. Let's now run this again. What is that? That's kind of brownish, I guess. There we go. Looks like it saved the data successfully. And let's go now back to here and see what we've got. There we go. Colors 
And here it is. There's my first data point. I could go and add a bunch more. Um, uh, reddish. Oh, right. what I wanted to do is then also have it pick a new color. So as soon as it finishes, data saved successfully, let's say pick color and we'll get a new one. Right, because it's going to pick color. Uh, pick color should also draw the color. So that's greenish, greenish, bluish, bluish, greenish, purplish, greenish. Oops, oh, I, I messed up, but that's okay. Uh, reddish, greenish. Okay, so I think we're done. This is finished. I'm going to put this somewhere on the internet. Uh, maybe clean it up and add some interface stuff to it. Um, but just here we can quickly see, um, we can quickly see my uh, data set. These are all the things that are adventured so far with the RGB values and the label, okay? So now what I'm gonna do between now and the next video is I'm gonna let this live for a bit, try to collect the data. I might have to clean the data a bit, which I'll talk about, put it into a spreadsheet, figure out what I wanna do with it. But, um, but uh, and then I'll see you in the next video and I'll start to work on building the machine learning model to actually train a model based on this data, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.